hi guys welcome to the first uh, lesson in the second module of the amazon affiliate niche site course and in this first lesson i'll be showing you how to select the niche for your amazon site and uh, without further ado let's get started so in selecting a niche for your site you want to answer six basic questions number one are you comfortable with the topic number two is it seasonal number three what is the product price range? Number four, can it be grown? Can the site be grown beyond this particular niche? Number five, what is the relative competition? Number six, what is the Amazon commission rate for that particular niche? So what I will do is, whenever you are selecting a niche, you have to consider these six questions. Number one, you must be comfortable with the topic. Number two, it must not be a seasonal niche. Number three, the product price range must be reasonable. It must have a mix of both expensive products and cheap products. Number four, you should be able to grow the niche even beyond the starting point. You should be able to grow it into something much, much bigger in the nearest future. Number five, the relative competition in that niche should not be too fierce. Number six, the Amazon commission rates should be high enough to reward you for all your efforts. So, I will gradually take you through these six steps and then show you how, how I do a typical niche selection for a new project. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to Amazon.com. Amazon.com. Now, it is important that you understand that most of your visitors will be buying they will be coming from the us number one and they will be buying from amazon.com so once you land on amazon.com you go to you click on this department this department section is like a, a complete list of all the categories that that is on amazon so this will give you an idea of um, the possible niche that you can venture into take for instance the electronic category Luggage category, we have uh, women fashion, we have uh, pop pet supplies, we have men fashion, we have office, we have uh, software, we have sports and outdoors, we have baby, we have boy, we have tools and home improvement, and all of that. It's a very, very, we have woman kitchen, we have, it's a very long, long, long list of things you can possibly write about on amazon products that are listed on amazon so let me show you the selection process for a typical niche site the number one thing i want to do is this i think um, i'm much more comfortable writing about uh, let's say headphone for example now so i'll come to this electronic category what niche site means is that you are focused on a one particular topic at a time so instead of having a site about electronics no you are having a site about headphone just headphone and headphone alone so you all your articles will have something to do with headphones either you are reviewing products on headphone or you are writing about the benefit of headphone or you are writing about uh it's benefit different kind of stores it has to do with headphones just headphones and headphones alone if you are writing about carry-on bags it will be about carry-on and carry-on bags alone if writing about umbrellas it will be about umbrellas and umbrellas alone so for the purpose of this uh, video let me open up two niche in the uh two niche so that you can see how it works a typical niche selection process works so let's say i'm interested in iphone um iphone number one and for the ladies out there that might be interested in a kitchen item let's say uh we want to look into um let's say kitchen and dining yes kitchen and dining sub niche now sometimes i'll, I'll talk about much later let's just focus on on this one already so in the headphone in the headphone uh, in the headphone niche we have three basic subcategories so what, what you want to do is this you have you, your focus the focus of your site will be on all these three basic categories earbud over ear over ear headphone and on ear headphone so let's say you're starting a site about headphones these are the three things you'll be talking about on your site basically that nothing more nothing less and uh, for the kitchen section now obviously there are so many options here that you can look into so 
you might want to narrow down the more a little bit in this kind of session you might want to look into let's say a uh, big way big way will also have some other things underneath it so you might start a site about big way basically where you write about bakers and casseroles baker well sets cake pans all of that that is the idea behind that one now so you can start a site about big way strictly this is a sub category under kitchen and dining so I'm, I'm showing you the two different i'm showing you two different niche at the same time so that you have an idea of how it works generally so let's continue back to our presentation so now are you comfortable with the topic if it's a to topic you are comfortable with it will be very easy for you to write about it over time but if it's a topic you are not comfortable with it will be difficult for you to keep up in the long run so you want to select a topic that you are comfortable with that you can research about because eventually you will end up writing different articles about the topic so you want to select a um, topic that you are very very comfortable with over time so that's the importance of going for a topic that you're comfortable with even if you'll be outsourcing most of your articles you should find it easy to read through it to understand and uh, do all sort of things not something something very very strange that you don't like at all so let's say I'm comfortable with headphone and writing about big way in uh, the kitchen niche just for the purpose of this video let's say I'm comfortable about headphone and as well as a uh, big way so Let's continue. Is it season now? You should try as much as possible to stay clear of seasonal niche. The reason for this is not far fetched. Seasonal niche would only sell for some period of the year, and beyond that period, you stop making money, which does not make sense really. So, you want something that would make you money all through the year not just something that will make you money for let's say two or three months take for instance if you have a site about christmas tree obviously you will not sell christmas tree in may so you will not make much money from that kind of site only through december season if you have a site about snow remover you will not make money during summer because there are no snows during summer if you have a site about winter socks you will not make money during winter during uh, summer as well because people don't have to wear winter socks during summer if you have a site about Halloween and so on and so forth so you want to pick something that is not seasonal and from all indication baking is not seasonal you can bake any time of the year and um, headphone is not seasonal you can listen to music any time of the year so so far our two niche that was selected as past um, two of those tests number one we are comfortable writing about it number two it is not seasonal now let's look at the product price range the idea behind product price range is that you want to select a product you want to select a niche that has both expensive products and cheap products now in my experience when you have a site that has products that are too expensive it is very very difficult for you to convert visitors into buyers but if you have a site that has a mix of cheap products and expensive products if they can't afford the expensive product, they will easily go for the cheap products. So at the end of the day, you want to make sure that your niche has a blend of the two. Now let us look at the niche we are trying to look into. We are looking at the headphone, remember, and the bakeway. Now for headphone, look at this product and it's about $349. That is expensive. But then in that same niche, we have some that are $29, some that are $28 some that are 19 dollars another one 149 so obviously it's a mix of um, 179 189 28 it's a mix of both expensive products and cheap products which makes a very very perfect niche if you're interested in that kind of stuff so let's look at our big way too oh we see it's a uh, um, nine dollar extremely cheap 24 medium priced and uh okay Okay, medium price. Most of the items here are medium priced and cheap items. So, uh, which is not bad when you look at the commission rates, it's not bad. But then I believe there will be some other expensive products in this um, sub niche as well. So, um, you can just check. Oh, this one is expensive 39, um, 29, 76 so 46 and so on and so forth so you want to make sure that it has both expensive and cheap products those are the two 
uh, three factors that we've considered so far. Number one, we've considered the fact that you are comfortable writing about it. Number two, it is not seasonal. Number three, the price range for the products in that niche, they are cheap ones and they are expensive ones. Now, can it be grown? This is the fourth question you want to ask. Now, what this means is that if you start a site about, let's say, bakeware, for example, when you are done writing about bakers and casseroles, you can always move on to bakeware sets. You can always move on to baking and cooking sheets. You can always move on to cake pan. You can always move on to decorating tools, which means the possibility is almost endless in this niche. And the same thing applies to the headphone niche that we are looking to. If you start a site about, um, if you start a, a site about um, headphones, you can move on much later you can move on into other musical instruments you can move on into wireless my microphone wireless earphone other accessories for mobile phones and all of that so you must select a niche that has the tendency of growing over time not just uh, a niche that would get stuck once you, are, you have been, once you've been able to rank the particular keyword so you must select a niche that has the potential to grow over time because it is important this is the only way to increase your earnings as time goes on if the niche does not grow if, if the niche uh, does not have the tendency to grow over time then once you reach a certain stage your earnings will um, be stuck there so you must answer yes here your niche should be able to grow over time now this is uh, the fourth qu the fifth question the relative competition this is a very very important question because most people get it wrong at this stage of niche building they go and target niche that are so competitive that at the end of the day they find it very 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 difficult to rank in that niche and once you, you find it difficult to rank it becomes very difficult to make money in that niche so i'll take my time and explain the concept of relative competition to you but first let me talk about it and finance niche you see the way google works is very simple Google uh, Google aggregates content on the net. So what that means basically is when somebody is searching for uh let's say um let, let me open yeah so when you are searching on Google make sure you are using google.com and not google.com.ng. Yes, I think I said that earlier. Now let's say somebody is searching for something like uh my best drug for malaria for malaria, right? best drug for malaria and typhoid now i want to take note of something there are thousands of pages on this particular topic right i'll go in and show you a, a particular um statistics that you might not have on your laptop look at this thing called DHA. it's a special plugin on my laptop I'll show you how to install it on your laptop too so that you can have access to this kind of information. DA signifies how strong the domain ha. If you have a very strong domain, the higher the, the stronger your domain, the higher your possibility of ranking on um the search engine results page. So DA is always over 100. This particular domain is scoring 91. This one 92, this one 91. This one 88, 92, 92. 94 94 91 and uh, this one 40 malaria.com so now the que the point there is this there are so many pages on this particular on this particular topic on google and there are so many authority sites already on it now if you are starting a new site your da will be around one or two obviously it's very very difficult for you to compete against these guys because of, they have been around for years if not more than a decade so which makes it very very difficult to compete with them now you want to stay clear of niche like this niche that has so many authorities like mayo clinic has been around for over a decade cora has been around for a very long time e-medicine medscript and all sorts of that you want to look at a niche where the ranking the ranking domains are not that very very strong that is the only way to penetrate the markets and gain uh, relevance on search engine results page now before we continue let me show you how to get this kind of uh, data what you want to install is called Mosbar. 
Moz bar. Go to Google and search for Moz Moz bar Moz bar Chrome extension. If you're using a Chrome browser, which is uh, what I really recommend. So Moz bar Chrome extension. You come here and you click on the Moz bar Chrome web store. Once you click on this um, first result, it takes you to the page, the Chrome extension web store. Then you install you click um, because I have it on my on my Chrome already if you don't have it to show install here yeah. so you click on it to install it and you follow the guide and um, activate your mouse bar if you are stuck at any point you can just go and Google search how to uh, let's see how to install mouse bar Chrome extension stuff like that just Google and um, read this guide by mouse so once you do that you sign up, you log into your account, and this thing you restart your browser and automatically you start getting the data on your search page. Once you follow the instruction on this particular page, how hard this uh, page to the video description. So, yes, I'll add this particular page to the video description. Let me try and save it so I will not forget. Um, okay, so I'll add it to the description so that you can check it much later. Now, once you have it installed on your page, once you have the most by installed on your page and activated, it becomes very easy for you to check the domain of a particular page, the domain rate of a particular page. So, back to our niche, the bakeware niche and the headphone niche. So, let's start with the bakeware. Let's say I want to start with um, cake pan, for example, or let's say roasting pan. For example now so I'll come over to Google and say uh, best roasting pan best roasting pan for Turkey for Turkey for example best roasting pan for Turkey now remember the rule about the domain authority i said we want to look for a page we want to look for a, um we want to look for a page that has at least two we want to look for for a niche that has at least two keywords that are le that has da less than 50 right so this page is about best roasting pan not best roasting pan for turkey this is a good long tail keyword in that particular niche uh, stick with me. I'll explain what I mean by long tail much later. Now, going through this particular page, what you want to do is copy Control A, Control C, and find this keyword. So it appears three times on this page. Number one, this this particular page is targeting that keyword specifically. How do I know? When you are targeting a keyword, the first thing you want to do is make sure that that particular keyword appears. In your on on your page title right so this page is targeting it number one number, okay that's the only page that is targeting this keyword on the search engine results page and looking at the over the, the general page you see that it has a d of 35 i told you d a less than 50 is a good sign that you can come in and overcome um d a 22 you see those are good signs anyway so once you have a page that has a da of less than uh, 52 or more pages of da less than 50 then you are good to go so this is the particular page this is the only page that is targeting that keyword specifically best roasting pan for talking now this is the page this is the page so you want to look around and see oh this is a very very weak content the content is so so small it's a good sign it's an invitation that you can actually kick these guys out and create a create a page about this particular keyword and rank for it so that's a good way to get started anyway um okay this another one best roasting pan for vegetables i'm this best roasting pan for vegetables uh -huh. see 
want to say okay fine if there are pages with with a domain authority now can copy this thing and search again let's see the da for the pages that are ranking for it specifically obviously none of this page none of this none, none of the pages on the search and results page is targeting that particular keyword what happens most time is when google can provide produce the um produce a page that is targeting that particular keyword they render something that is very very close to it so you see that these pages that are ranking are not really targeting this particular keyword so it is an invitation for you to write about this topic and you rank for it obviously so that is how you check the relative competition once you search for a niche and uh, you discover that once you search for a niche and you discover that most of the once you search for a niche and you discover that most of the pages it has at least two pages that the pages that are ranking for it has a da less than 50. this is a good one because really there are no page targeting it you see there are of there are no page the pages on this um the pages on the search engine results page are not targeting this particular keyword now if you want to know the the, um, the domains that are targeting this particular keyword you copy it what you will do is this there is a search query called all in title so you come into search uh, you type all in title column your keyword and search so what this search query does is it will filter out all the pages on the web that has this particular uh, that has this particular keyword in their title now there are just 61 pages that's this particular keyword in their title and um, if you take note of these pages they are not targeting best roasting pan for vegetable see this one is about best ways to prepare a pan for roasting vegetable it is not recommending products it's just telling people how to prepare the pan for vegetable okay this one is more like a question best pan for roasting vegetable and uh, see 33 25 19 this is a very very good sign that if you are coming in see that the, the pages that are hitting the keyword you see best roasting path for vegetable video this is just a random page same thing with this one and this one the domain authority for those pages are very very low this is aliexpress you don't bother yourself with these ones so that's the basic concepts once you search for the best roasting pan and you can also you should also search for the all in tight to best roasting pan you cannot do this for all the keywords that you want to target but it's just to give you an idea that in this big way niche there are no really um very competitive sites in that niche per se it's just give you an overview and the same thing with headphone let's see headphone for example let's see best earbud headphone best earbud headphones i'm very sure this one will be very competitive now you control a control c control find control okay best airport headphones yes so oh 93 93 90 92 97 oh these are very very competitive pages so this smallest one is 51 you want to take care of something like this really because it's very competitive so now at this point we'll drop the headphone because obviously the competition here is too much for a new site so you can drop it and focus on our plan that is how you analyze a niche it does not answer all these six questions there is no partial if it does not answer just one you drop it and focus on another thing so it has been passing it for the first uh, four questions but it did not pass the relative competition question so you drop it now the last one is what is the amazon commission rate very quickly let me show you what amazon commission rate looks like this is the breakdown of amazon amazon commission rate products that in the fashion niche they get 10 percent in the furniture eight percent and so forth and so on and so forth what this means is that if you are selling this one let's say uh roasting pan of 109 dollars and uh 
and it is in the kitchen niche right let's see what they are offering for kitchen niche uh, kitchen they are offering 4.50 percent so what that means is that you come here let me show you what that means is that uh, 4.50 divided by 50 divided by 100 rather to get the percent that's 0.045 percent now if the product is being sold for let's say one hundred and nine dollars like that one you multiply by that by one hundred and nine dollars that's roughly five dollar per sales so whenever people come here and buy this particular product you earn five dollars in revenue for that particular sales so that's how the amazon commission rate works you want to select a product that has at least three percent upward three percent upward anything less than that is not encouraging at all so three percent upward is a very good one so that is a general overview of how to select your niche it must answer these questions this is questions you must be comfortable with the topic it must not be seasonal the product must have the niche must have both cheap and expensive products you should be able to grow it the competition the relative competition should not be fierce should not be very competitive and the amazon commission rates must make sense at least three percent upward so once you are able to answer this question comfortably you can settle down and say fine this is the niche i'll be building my site upon don't forget there are no per share it must answer these questions accurately so um that's that about selecting niche and um, i hope to see you in the next video